Hi, Leo. Welcome to Barefoot Mama Intuitive Reading. This is your spiritual reading for the month of June. So thanks for being here. If you want to enter to win a free reading on 7-7, you can put free reading in the comments of any video from now until then. And I'll announce the winner on a separate day or a separate post, rather. <laughs> um, you can also join my Patreon, my Etsy um, has personal readings available and you can donate. Thank you to all of those of you who have. I really appreciate you all and I'm happy to be here. So let's go. Spirit, please protect this reading. Send any negative energy back to sender transmuted tenfold to the greatest good of all and harm to none. Archangel Michael, please protect this reading. Send any negative energy back to sender again transmuted tenfold <sighs> for the greatest good of all and harm to none. Protect me as I read protect the person receiving or people receiving these messages and mother mary please bring compassion through into this reading Kali, cut any energetic cords to any energies ooh, that no longer serve the collective send them on for the karma sticks thank you all men all men so it be holy moly whoa okay i was just gonna say it was really hard to get that message through sorry if that was really loud and then I pulled the Council, the Council of Light. Okay, this is like a spiritual warfare reading, Leo. This is not usually, I don't do spiritual warfare readings. Um, a really great reader who does, who I appreciate um, in terms of that is Empress Eva. She's amazing. So if you're into spiritual warfare stuff, maybe listen to one of her reads. Uh, the council are the luminous beings who hold the collective wisdom of humanity. They are the ones before whom you will do your life review when you cross into the world of spirit. A life review is when we place our good and our bad deeds on a divine scale and attempt to explain why we did not love or forgive or dare as greatly as we might have. Know that their wisdom is available to you at all times when you live in a state of yes in an unconditional relationship with life. They remind you of your place around a sacred fire, which has been reserved for you since the beginning of time. You will claim it when you own your inner wisdom. The council has a message for you. Listen with your inner senses. The handwriting is already on the wall, so look about you and you will be discerning in its meaning. Do not wait for further signs. Embark on the journey to love deeply, forgive sincerely, and dare greatly. Take the leap without requiring life to assure you of success. Woo, Leo, okay. What leap are you taking? First of all, I feel like this leap, let's let's do some sound clearing really quickly. Okay, cool. So, <clears throat> first of all, um I feel like this leap is in your spirituality itself. Um the Council of Light came out. I, I was just surprised that the Council of Light came out because I was feeling tongue tied and I was feeling like the energy of like being suppressed or being repressed or something working actively against me. And then we asked for Archangel Michael to send all negative energy back to sender. Um, and we had to ask for that twice, transmuted tenfold for the greatest good of all and harm to none. And then we call on Kali as well. I don't know, it's just really coming through strongly that the Council of Light is um, sending you messages, that you're getting downloads. The summer solstice is coming up, so this could be really important for you in terms of um, sun and moon cycles. That might mean something specific to you. Also, the 8-8 portal in August um, is I'm wanting to mentioned for some reason you may have done a manifestation last august during the 88 portal um and that manifestation is beginning to like either come into your life or the ending of like your pre yeah your previous life is ending and that manifestation it i feel like it was a big one is being um lined up okay spirit what do we need to know for leo of pentacles self mastery mastering your craft okay that's what you've been working on really cool uh five of cups even though you've been kind of maybe bummed out about like what's been going on in the past 
I'm seeing these three cups and these three pentacles, and I'm feeling like they're the same thing. Like, you could have worked with people who... I don't know why I feel like they interfered with your relationship, the two of cups. Maybe you just, like, worked a lot, and your relationship was really suffering because of it. The moon. Hmm. What's the moon? Yeah, I think you maybe didn't realize how much anxiety this was giving you. Or how much work preoccupied your thoughts. Okay, what are you doing about it now? <laughs> nice. Death. Transmuting. Transmuting. You're transmuting this energy. It's like you recognized it. I don't know. It was like you were having a hard time recognizing it. It was kind of... I get the sense that it was sort of right in front of your face. But if you recognized it, you knew you were going to have to make changes. And it finally got to a point with the Six of Swords reversed the moon where your anxiety was so bad that you were like, or, or your thoughts were so preoccupied that you couldn't even focus. You could do something at work. Um, this guy's a stonemason, right? On the Three of Pentacles. You could do something at work like involving moving heavy objects or heavy lifting. And it's like, if you're distracted doing something like that, it could be, um, it could be bad. You could work with knives. Like you could be a, a chef or like a um, blacksmith even. And you're just like, I need a break. I need a vacation or something. The death though is a major transmutation. It's a major life change. I feel like it's more than just a vacation. What is this? Nine of swords. Ten of pentacles. What? What is this? Five of wands. Okay. Okay, the hermit reverse. I feel in order to claim your ten of pentacles, nine of swords, there's something you have to face that, um, something you regret that you did in the past five of cups you can't sleep at night because of this but okay so whatever it is you can't sleep at night because of whatever you did that you regret like if you did something at work that god forbid like it got somebody in trouble or like hurt someone on accident or yourself, I don't know. It could even be that you just work so much that that you wonder if you're ever going to find your Ten of Pentacles, right? And so you finally are just like, you know what? I'm prioritizing my Ten of Pentacles. I don't care how much drama it causes. Like, this guy decides he's going to go have fun. The guy in the polka dots, right? Like, they're all fighting in order to... Um, I'm thinking of the Lightseer's Tarot, where they're all working together kind of as acrobats to get to this, like, flame, this ignition, this spark of inspiration you're fighting for this inspiration. You're like, I'm coming out of hermit mode, I'm tired of being stuck in my little bubble. Um, and you know, I might be really good at what I do, but what, what, what does it matter how good I am at what I do? If I don't feel like fulfilled, I just feel like you don't feel fulfilled for some reason. And you're like, you know what, I'm going to go figure out what that is for me. Okay. How do you, when will you know what this is or how will you know what this is? I'm being drawn to ask. King of Wands reverse, you don't feel like yourself. You feel like other people see you as like your craft, but they don't see you. Page of Cups. You could be dealing with a water sign. Um, Death, the Five of Cups, Scorpio, Page of Cups, and the Moon. Uh, yeah, Cancer Pisces. You, could, you just, could just have water in your chart. And then, of course, Virgo with the Hermit. So you get this idea that makes you feel emotionally like, hmm, okay. And you make a judgment call. All right, Scorpio energy again. You make a judgment call. You're like, all right, I'm going into my new life. Let's do this. I love working with Leo energy because I feel like, I've, and I've said this in your readings before, I feel like you don't, um, you don't linger, you know, when it's time for you to pick up and go you pick up and go <laughs> you're just like oh okay and that's what i'm doing um and it's not because you haven't thought hard and long about this or done your due diligence hardly um it's hardly that you haven't you've you've done that and more with the three of pentacles five of cups you're just um 
I don't know. It's like you let the energy build, 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 build. And then that catapults you into your, your next destination. But this catapult is literally released by the, it's like a slingshot. It's like, you've been pulling all this energy, pulling all this energy, pulling all this energy. And then it's like, you're aiming. I see that you're like aiming and you're just like, okay. And you release it and you're off. Like, I really, I love this about Leo energy. You just, when you make a decision, you make a decision. Um, and this actually could have been one where you felt like you were struggling. I'm a Scorpio um, <laughs> sun, and, and I feel like it just takes me forever, <laughs> forever to make decisions. And I grieve about them, you know, and I think about it, like that Scorpio energy. So yeah, look and see if you have Scorpio in your chart, because you could have been just really contending with that. Um, and it could have made you feel like, dang, this is taking forever. Like I can't get out of this cycle or like, why am I feeling this way? Or how do I get out? Of, like what? Ah, and, and I see you just finally are like all of the energy is built and you're gone. Okay. What's the outcome? King of cups reversed. Ace of pentacles reversed. Three of wands reversed. High priestess reversed. Why are all of these reversed? What is all this watery water, water, water? Um, King of Cups reverse is a cruel person who uses you with Ace of Pentacles reverse, used you for money. Um, that could have been this Three of Pentacles situation where somebody just saw you basically like you were really good at what you did, um, or what you do. And so they were just using you like they were overworking you and underpaying you. Three of Wands reverse is the end of your troubles. You're no longer second guessing your intuition about this situation with a high priestess reverse. Okay. We understand that. I think, I feel like these are just the conclusions that you come to. That's the outcome. You're like, these are the conclusions. Okay. But what about your future? What's this 10 of pentacles? Cause this is endings. This is like, okay, I'm done, done dealing with this person. I've made that judgment call. So what about this 10 of pentacles? You're going towards your queen of wands or you are embodying this queen of wands justice awesome i love this this is divine justice this is karmic justice the hangman you're seeing things from a new perspective something about stabilizing or a little bit of like where to put your energies in order to gain the right information the magician reverse has come out in the last three readings i've done I don't know if this has something something to do with the solstice coming up, but it's like people are encountering spiritually right now um, how they're getting in their own way in terms of manifesting. And also divine intervention. The magician reverse can mean divine intervention. Like there's nothing your intuition or your magic or whatever. No, it's, it's not going to do anything. For you right now there's a divine plan with the council at the head of your reading and you're in it and you're going this is part of the divine plan okay strength oh my gosh here you are infinity symbol infinity symbol yeah a8 portal might have been something for you so here you are being vulnerable why is justice here i'm really curious nine of pentacles The tower reverse, okay. Two swords, the tower reverse. So if you're in a committed relationship or connection and work was just taking too much away from your home life, this is you committing to your significant other, giving them what they deserve. They might express to you like they're pretty happy on their own, but you still feel like you owe them an apology or vice versa. Take it as it resonates. This could be your divine feminine or masculine who's like working really hard as well. Um, you could be a cross watcher. Hangman, justice with the three of wands. The lovers reversed. 
so this is interesting too like you may have like missed your chance with somebody because you were working too hard you see them as ten of pentacles and you're like you know what no i'm gonna go get my ten of pentacles <laughs> they might be with somebody else and I feel like you're like, no, let's, it, this could be somebody from your past, Eight of Pentacles or Eight of Cups Reverse. Let's get back together. I also was reading the other day that Eight of Cups Reverse means like celebration. And so does the Four of Wands. Celebration, joy, revelry, um, strength. Like you need to be vulnerable in this situation and tell this person how you feel. Um, Ten of Swords Reverse. They might ask you, like, hey, why did you, why did you betray me? Or why did you walk away? And you'll need to maybe explain yourself. But if you want a new beginning, or if you want somebody to return to you, the full reverse. Like, if you want to retry something with somebody, the four of wands is a really good omen. That's, like, one person's story. If you were resonating with that story, it could also be that this, like, corrupt employer was, like, knowing, knew that you wanted to leave, and so they, like, weren't paying you your worth, or they kept, like, charging you to lease, like, their space more, or raising the rent or something, and so you just couldn't get out of where you were at. Okay. I'm seeing this person, the Queen of Wands, whoever she is in your reading, this could be you, um, but I think it's somebody else they were thinking you were perfectly content on their own or they are perfectly content on their own what is the lovers reverse seven of pentacles reverse they felt like this was not going to come together this connection it could be a twin flame connection 11 11 with the um council card number 11 to clarify um and i feel like you're expecting to have to like hold your own energy or like explain yourself and i think this person if they're your twin flame and this is like reunion um they're gonna be like oh i thought you were never coming back i'm actually like really happy to see you um i was just ready to like do life alone for the rest of my life yeah okay that's really sweet. Anything else for Leo? Oh, peace of mind. Thank goodness. Will of Fortune reverse. The world reverse. I feel like you feel like you've changed your um, karma. Like you've broken generational karmic patterns. You've grounded things in reality. The world upright can mean things online, right? I feel like you... Are grounding things and you're opening a new karmic cycle as well yeah you're eliminating old karma out of your generational patterns and starting a new karmic cycle that's what that is and i think like, like you feel really good about it okay i am being drawn to um pull a universal truths card for you just to end this reading out it's kind of all over the place but they are 5d energies so it doesn't make sense for them to fully make sense if you know what i mean <laughs> Oh, look at this. Awakening to choices. You got two, so let's read them. The search for our happiness is always found in the pursuit of our purpose. All of us have a slumbering dynamo inside, just waiting to be released and expressed. That's that slingshot energy I was getting. Let's arouse ourselves and call upon our magnificent indwelling spirit. It is now the time to awaken the hero and heroine within. The hour has arrived for us to ascend to a higher way of thinking. The council can help you with this call on the council right masters believe there is a curtain which divides us from the unlimited universal potential unveiling this curtain unleashes our hidden power which is lying dormant within ourselves we are then assured not to fall asleep and miss the promised land we promised ourselves the ten of pentacles right oh not to fall asleep the nine of swords oh my gosh sorry <laughs> let us be awesomely alive and aligned with the almightiness that burns within our hearts whoa awakening outrageously inspires an innovative search to something outstanding and then choices in this world choice not chance determines human destiny yes that's this wheel of fortune the world card be intelligent and choose with integrity and impeccability 
in the midst of fervor, keeping calm ultimately avoids calamity. Our choices speak of our character. They define who we are and what we stand for. We ought to take our path seriously. If not, no one else will. The foundation of our very existence is based on the choices we make. Be diligent yet dashing, doubtful yet daring, decisive yet dazzling, different yet discriminating, and dubious yet determined. I don't know why they used all these D words in the choice card. Our new storefronts and frontiers for living will then magically appear. Oh, that's cool. Our choices become the lighthouse in the sea of the unknown. Choices that are good today create a grand future for tomorrow. Yeah, what was I saying? Like, the awakening and the choices. You awaken to a choice and you just, you just make it. You're just like, oh, it's time. Go. Um, I can't wait to see what this means for you, Leo. If it resonated, please do like, comment, share, subscribe. Um, yeah, do leave me a comment. I want to know who this resonated with. Who's reading with us? <laughs> all right. Have a good week, Leo, and I will see you all soon. I love reading for you. Thanks for being here.